Today, we're going to be talking about space vocabulary because there are some important space-related events that have happened recently or are going to happen in the near future. I'll tell you what those are and I'll give you all the vocabulary you need related to space. So remember, during the class, you can participate by writing in the comments. So let's start with the universe. So this is everything, all galaxies, planets, and other objects on Earth and in space. So in the universe, we have stars. These are made up of clouds and dust, and our main star is the sun. So the solar system, the planets, revolve around the sun. Another way to say this, to revolve around the sun, is to orbit. So a planet's orbit is the path that it takes, always in a circular, elliptical direction. Do you know the names of the planets in our solar system in English? They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, Pluto used to be considered a planet, but it is no longer considered a planet. So the Earth has one moon that orbits around it in a monthly cycle every month. So at the beginning of the month, we can't see the moon very much or only a very small sliver, but halfway through the month, we see the full moon that is illuminated. We can see it very clearly in this cycle. Okay, another important uh, space-related event you may have seen on May 30th, the SpaceX launch. So now we're going to talk about vocabulary related to space exploration. So an astronaut is a person who leaves the Earth and goes into space. And the vehicle that they use to travel to space is called a spacecraft. Now there are many different kinds of spacecrafts, but the general term we use for the vehicle that astronauts travel in is a spacecraft. So a satellite is a device sent into space to orbit the Earth and it is used to collect information, take photographs, etc. So there are many satellites that have gone into space over the years. Another term that you may know is a UFO. So in English, this stands for unidentified flying object. So many people say that they have seen UFOs in specific uh, parts of the world, like in New Mexico, there's a place where people say they spotted a UFO. So this is where the story comes of seeing aliens, seeing um, other life forms other than humans. People say they spotted a UFO. So you don't know what it is, but it's something that you can't explain, an unidentified flying object. So if one of your hobbies is stargazing or looking at the stars at night, you may want to buy a telescope. So this is a device that allows us to see the stars more clearly because it magnifies them. So if we look into the telescope, we can see the different stars in the sky at night. Okay, now I want to talk about a famous quote from a space movie and give you some recommendations because watching movies is a great way to improve your English. So if you enjoy this topic, space, then there are many movies that you can watch in English to practice. So the first one is Apollo 13. And from Apollo 13, we have the famous line, Houston, we have a problem. So this has been used in many situations other than space, but basically it comes from the Apollo 13 calling the Houston space station on Earth to tell them that there was a problem, okay? So now this expression, Houston, we have a problem, 
is applied to many different contexts, just meaning that something is wrong, there's a problem, etc. So you may have heard this expression before, but you didn't know exactly where it came from. Some other movies that I recommend for space, uh, related to space, that you can watch in English are Interstellar, Ad Astra, and The Martian. Okay, now that I've given you a brief overview of space vocabulary, space exploration vocabulary, etc., I want you to answer in the comments. I have some questions for you. So my first question, did you watch the SpaceX launch? Are you going to watch the solar eclipse? And what are your favorite movies related to space? So I mentioned a few, Apollo 13, Interstellar, etc. but there are so many movies in English about space. So tell me in the comments, what are your favorite movies? And I hope this class has been useful for you. I hope that you now feel like you understand more vocabulary related to space. And again, uh, I hope that you will be prepared to watch this, uh, this solar eclipse. Remember to wear your special glasses and tell me about it in the comments. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you back here next week. Take care. Bye.